everyone and welcome to our latest Tone2 Pro video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to update your Tone2 Pro's firmware to version 1.2. Alright, so before we begin, I want you to check out this forum post over here that I've just made today. And in it, you can see that this firmware update isn't going to be for everyone. Basically, if you're in the earlier batch 1 or batch 2, uh, Tone 2 Pros and your serial number starts with 0C or 11 as you can see in this uh, photograph over here then you need this upgrade. If you're in batch 3 or later um, your Tone 2 Pro has already been updated to version 1.2 and you won't have to worry about this update. Okay. So if you already have a Tone 2 Pro, uh, you may be asking yourself well why do I need this update in the first place? Well Remember the review from Audio Sense Review by Amir, right? So he talked about the audio filters not really working very well. So we've fixed that in version 1.2, as you can see on the graph on the right hand side, right? So the noise level is at minus 100 dB, whereas previously white noise was somewhere around minus 60. And as you can see in the second picture, we've also solved the high noise flow at 44.1 and 48 kilohertz for the THD plus N, okay? So as you can see here, the red line shows the original reading for Tone 2 Pro and that went up to minus 45 uh, dB. So it was a little bit abnormal. As you can see, the old tone board, which is the blue dotted line over here, went up to only minus uh, 85 dB. On the right hand side, you can see the corrected measurements where our Tone 2 Pro now measures around minus 85, which makes it as good as the old Tone 1 or original Tone board. So if you're in batch 1 or 2, you may be interested if uh, you feel these two issues matter to you. If you don't and you're perfectly fine with your Tone 2 Pro, then no, you do not need, it is not compulsory for you to install this update. Alright, so let's continue. Alright, so this uh, firmware update consists of two files. The first file is the new MCU firmware, and this has fixed the audio filters and the white noise measurement. It's fixed the 44.1 and 48 kilohertz sweep uh, from total harmonic distortion. And it's also fixed a very rare issue that some people encounter, which is sometimes the Tone 2 Pro switches to a mono signal instead of having a stereo left and right. And we've also enabled the MCU firmware upgrade via USB-C. Now what that means is that in the future, you can update the MCU directly from USB uh, without having to buy a specialized tool. All right, what am I talking about? Well, just continue watching. So the Exmos firmware uh, update 1.2 works in conjunction with the new MCU firmware to enable a USB-C updating of the MCU. So these two files uh, to update the Exmos as well as the MCU work in conjunction to bring all these new features together and if you plan on updating you have to do both of them together okay all right so downloads what do we have so as usual uh, everyone is very familiar with the xmos dfu tool which you can find over here so this xmos dfu tool which i have on my desktop let me show you right now is uh, this one over here so everyone's familiar with that right from my previous youtube video and you can just uh, you don't have it download it again right and the second one you're going to download is the version 1.2 firmware for your xmos and that one is also uh, very familiar to everyone right i have it over here it's version 1.2 xmos firmware and uh, what's new this time at least for batch 1 and batch 2 Toronto pro users batch 3 you don't have to care is the mcu dfu tool which we have included let me see over here. All right, this is URL over here. That's the MCU DFU upgrade tool, which is this one, sorry. And the MCU firmware update, which is this file over here. Okay, so you're gonna need a total of four files uh, to conduct the version 1.2 update. All right. In addition to the software, you also need a hardware tool, right? So it says here, please note that to perform the MCU upgrade, you'll need an ST-Link version 2 hardware tool. However, after this update, subsequent MCU updates can be done over the USB-C port. We will include a link in Cutter Shop for you to get a free ST-Link V2 hardware tool. So here's what the tool looks like, and uh, I can show you my tool right now. 
it looks like this okay so it's a USB A port on one side and there's these uh, I don't know GPIO pins on this side okay so if you look at this diagram there's a little notch here right so that's a notch here as well and we're gonna be using the RST swim and ground pins which if you can see from uh, how I've connected it okay it's on the upper side near the notch because there are a total of uh, 10 pins so five on the bottom five on the side of the notch so connect it to the side of the notch and it's these three pins here ground swim and RST right so here we go ground swim and RST and you're gonna need these uh, male pins as well which I'll show you why in a moment okay all right so this hardware device plugs into your PC's uh, USB port and then it pokes into the Tone 2 Pro's GPIO pins from the underside of the Tone 2 Pro, okay? So refer to the MCU update guide below for the instructions. Hooray! Alright, so first things first, let's update our XMOS chip, which is everyone is very familiar with, to version 1.2 following this tutorial, okay? As you can see, uh, connected my Tone 2 Pro to my PC via the USB-C uh, data cable, all right? And a standard procedure, let's open up the XMOS DFU tool, which is this one here. Okay, so as you can see, my tool uh, shows that my Tone board is running version 1 firmware, all right? So I've already downloaded the firmware over here. All right, so all we have to do is press Browse select it press open and then press start update okay you may have noticed some pop noises if you're listening in on your headphones so while you're updating firmware uh, remove your headphones okay all right so the firmware update is finished successfully and we are now uh, using version 1.2, so press exit. Alright, so now we've got to update the MCU, so let's install the STLink v2 software tool, and we've got to run this tool as an administrator. If you don't have this tool, again, just click this link to download it, and you're home free. Alright, so STLink v2 tool, which is this one over here, right click, run as administrator. Okay, uh, now that the tool is installed, you'll notice two icons on your desktop. We'll get back to that later. All right, now we need to download and unpack the new MCU firmware. Again, just click this link if you haven't already downloaded it. Okay, here's the firmware that I have already downloaded and unpacked. Okay, three, open the MCU upgrade tool. Okay, what's next? Configure the tool. So press configure stlink USB swim stm 8 s 3 f 3 Okay. Check USB swim stlink stm 8 s 3 f 3 Okay, so my tool is already configured. If you're running this for the first time, you're going to have to configure it as per this window over here. And then just press OK. All right. Next thing you want to do is you may want to check Option Byte to see that re readout protection is off. Uh, but this by default is going to be off. So you should be fine. And then make sure that you've selected the Program Memory tab. All right. All right. What's next? Connect the tool to our PC's USB port. Okay, let's do that now. So I've got my tool over here. OK, 
Okay, great. So I've got my tool connected to my PC's USB port. Okay. Peel away the rubber foot from below the tone branding. Do not remove warranty stickers. Okay. All right, so uh, let's see. Make sure USB-C is also plugged in during this step because you need power. So the tone branding is here. Okay. Connect the tool to your Tone 2 Pro. Okay, so this is ground, which you can see on my uh, screen, my camera's uh, output over here. Ground is this top one here. Okay, let me point to it. Ground. Swim NRST, okay? So remember just now when we plugged in the pins that ground was the purple wire and gray is the uh, uh, Sorry Okay, the, my wire is a little bit different, but swim is basically the middle one and the white one is the NRST So as long as you got them in the right order and you know which pins are plugging into which pins you will be fine, okay? So ground plugging into here. Let's do that now. Okay, and what I've been told is that when you plug in these pins, uh, don't plug them all the way in, just slightly, because it's a gold contact in there, right? And then press on the pins from the side like this so that mix uh, contact with the gold contacts on the GPIO uh, pinouts on the Tone 2 Pro, okay? All right, open the firmware hex file. All right, so that's this uh, hex file over here. Press open, open the hex file. Okay, what next? And press the flash button. Okay, flash button is this uh, bug-like icon with the red flag. Not this one, not this one, this one, okay? All right, program memory successfully verified. Now we reconnect our Tone 2 Pro, okay? So one thing is that when you're peeling this uh, rubber pad, be sure not to uh, peel it all the way to the back because there's some warranty stickers in the back here, so you don't want to peel uh, those out, okay? All right, just close the program over here And then replace the put back the rubber foot So not to worry because this glue is actually a uh, reusable so you can reuse uh, You can remove the rubber pad and put it back, okay? So then we just uh, reconnect the Tone 2 Pro. Okay. So as you can see, everything's working. My uh, volume control looks good. Okay. And we can even try playing some DSD music. So again, uh, always push the volume down to mute first. And then let's open uh, to FUBAR 2000. Okay, let's uh, test out the filters, see if they make any difference. Ok, 
Okay, so now we're in a uh, filter mode. You can see you can see that there's a purple and red light. Okay, I personally could not hear any differences in the filters uh, even after the firmware update. Um, but from the measurement results, there are differences. So perhaps these are not audible on my headphones and perhaps with my pair of ears. So that's all for this video, guys. And I hope you've learned how to update your firmware to version 1.2 as well as MCU. Remember, this only applies to batch 1 and 2. And if your serial number starts with 0C or 11, if you have a later batch of Tuntu Pro, this does not apply to you and you need not be worried. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.